What's up guys, Retrospective Dave here, and welcome to another episode of Guided Laces. Today's episode features one of 2021's most anticipated releases, the Nike SB Dunk Low Street Hawker. With rumors of 20 to 30,000 pairs made worldwide, this sneaker will not be easy to cop for retail. As that's usually the case for most sneaker releases today, many sneakerheads will have no choice but to pay anywhere between $600 and $1,000 if they feel the need to add this pair to their collection as of January 22nd, 2021. That's a lot of money to kick out on the aftermarket, especially if you're uncertain about your pair's authenticity. So in this video, I will do my best to go over all the details of this pair and hope that it guides you to authenticating your pair at home. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the shoe. All right guys, so usually when I do videos like this, uh, I start with the box first, but because this particular release has seven different boxes, I'm just gonna save the box for last. But don't worry, I will go over all of the details of the box, including the, the stickers, the stamps, the shoe paper, all of that good stuff. Just stay tuned at the end of the video for that. But I do want you to study this shoe right now that you see on screen. Study the patterns here. Um, also study like this little green spot, this green spot here, all of that, even the one right here above the Nike swoosh. Um, so if your pair is authentic, those patterns will not change. Usually with Nike SBs, if they have patterns like this on the shoe, they do vary from shoe to shoe um, or pair to pair. But for this particular release, they didn't do that this time around. So all of the designs and stuff will be in the same exact spot. Even on the right shoe, you will see no differences in the layout of the patterns there. So this shoe will be very easy to authenticate, which is good news for the sneaker community. So you will get four sets of laces with this pair, and this is what it should look like. So if you receive any pairs that have like a Nike SB bag with laces in them, or if you don't receive four pairs of laces at all, uh, or they come in a Nike SB bag, that's a red flag. So the green and the brown laces are supposed to be tied into the black laces on the right shoe. And then you also have the white laces that are on the left shoe here. Taking a look at the insoles, uh, make sure that when you're authenticating your shoes, you notice that the Nike SB branding at the bottom is not embossed, it's actually printed on. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're authenticating your kicks. Also, if you flip the insoles over, and this was intentionally done, if you look at the black part here, there's a white check, a white check mark. I don't know if this is like a, it's not coming off actually. When I rub it, it doesn't come off. So I don't know what that is, but there's a check mark on this one. There's also a check mark on this one as well. So this was intentionally done. So I'm just curious to know if anyone else has that on their pairs. So just take a look at those two things when you order your shoes. Uh, look at the insoles, look at the printed on Nike SB branding here, and also look at the checks on the back of the insoles. All right, here's a look at the tag on the inside of the shoe. The production dates are June 30th to September 12th. So your dates may change, uh, I'm not sure, but they should vary, but they shouldn't be too far off from the dates that you see on the screen. Also take note that the touch of the, uh, the, the feel of the tag on the inside of the shoe has like a silky, glossy feel to it. So it's not like just regular dry paper, it has some type of finish on it that it feels very slick. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, when you look at the threading on the inside of the shoe, um, on the left shoe, you have royal blue threading and you also have white threading. All right, and on the right shoe, you will have a mixture of gray and white threading. All right, so I don't know if this is worth noting, but I'm gonna just put it in the video anyway. Um, so usually you know how on the Jordan 1, it has like a little trademark symbol here or a trademark symbol here. So on this particular pair, it just says Nike SB. Just Nike SB, that's it. And it's the same on the other shoe. All right, folks, if you direct your attention to the 10 cent coin that's embroidered on the left shoe, you will notice that it's embroidered very close to the stitching on the side panel. And there's also a considerable amount of space in between the coin and the mud guard that you see on the bottom. Um, my OCD wants me to just bring the coin down just a tad bit to where it's dead center in the side panel, but it's not like that on the official pairs. You can also Google official images of the Street Hawkers, and all of the pairs that I've seen in pics look exactly like this. I also take note that the coin is tilted a little bit to the left, so it's not perfectly centered at all. So as I promised in the beginning of the video, here is the box. So this is the item description. Uh, so the color code is metallic copper. That's it. Point blank period. Metallic copper. Nothing else. No multicolor, no nothing. Just metallic copper. Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS. Uh, style code CV1628800. Suggested retail price is $110. 
and this is a US pair. So like I said, um, this pair has like seven different boxes uh, with six of them being from like regional boxes in China. So like if you live in Beijing or Shanghai or something like that, you're gonna get a different box if, if you get them from China. But in the US and everywhere else, you should get like a regular box. All right, so this box does come with a YCM sticker to keep your shoes from molding. And it also comes with a numerical stamp. All right, guys, if you flip the box over, you will have a Nike stamp on the back. Um, I'm sorry, a sticker. So this is a sticker. It's not a part of the box. It's an actual sticker that you can peel off. All right, last but not least, this is the uh, two types of paper that you will get in the shoe box. So usually with Nike SBs, we get that bamboo design paper, um, but they gave us a white blank sheet of paper here and it's, it feels the same on both sides and then you also get this menu uh, with all of the Chinese foods on it that they included and it also has Nike SB written in yellow uh, you can barely see the Nike SB unless you have it up to some light but it's written in yellow and it has uh, several different Chinese foods that are popular in that region all right folks thank you so much for tuning in we have reached the end of the video this is the Nike SB Dunk Low Street Hawker Got it laces tutorial if you found this video useful please leave a like comment and subscribe also if you know anyone that missed out on sneakers or missed out at their local skate shop and they had to buy their shoes off of StockX, ebay goat whatever please share this video with them to help them authenticate their kicks also if it was something about the shoes that i did not address that you wanted me to um please leave a comment in the comment section or you can just write me at uh retrospective dave on instagram i do respond to all messages and comments so please feel free to reach out to me at any time. Until then, stay fresh, blessed, and free of stress, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.